so caves can be either free or filled with water. Uncharted pathways within many caves may reveal few of the larger caves are 100% free of water. A cave entrance flooded with water may contain several adjoining cave systems with exit points on dry land. On the other hand, a cave entrance from dry land may have several exit points underwater. With an incomplete exploration of a cave system, who can determine what percentage of a cavern is free or full of water? A practical observation shows us water has the tendency to accumulate in underground streams. These streams are the source of well water. When considering these well streams, we are provided with clues as to the cave's function in helping to eliminate immense flood waters from the surface of the earth. also have a story to tell. Swamps were they too the remaining vestiges of a great flood. It seems these shallow stagnant bodies of water may well have been left over from an unrelenting deluge from past times. The ancient prehistoric look of many swamps have not been overlooked by everyone. These depressions in the earth filled with water are a perfect habitat for birds, reptiles, and insects. Many creatures thrive here as if they were created exclusively for this environment. The Lord's way of reshaping the earth was truly remarkable. We studied the landscape and found worldwide evidence that serves as confirmation of a worldwide flood. A flood so colossal that only the mountaintops were visible. A great flood to cleanse the earth, to cleanse the earth of the masses of people afflicted by a condition so virulent, unholy, and despicable that their death became necessary to purify this earth and make way for a new beginning. For the people had become unrepentant vessels of wickedness. Virtually every corner of this whole earth was covered with water. To this very day, 70% of the world is still covered with water. The Lord kept his vow, and it rained 40 days and 40 nights. The wicked were destroyed. Afterward, I do set my bow in the cloud, and it shall be for a token of a covenant between me and the earth. And it shall come to pass, when I bring a cloud over the earth, that the bow shall be seen in the cloud. This particular covenant set forth an agreement by God not to destroy the flesh with water anymore. When you see the bow, it signifies this agreement. Remember my covenant which is between me and you and every living creature of all flesh, and the water shall no more become a flood to destroy all flesh. Seeing the big picture can only help. Take a look around you. Worldwide, there's evidence of the great flood, which serves to confirm 
the scriptural account of Noah's flood. Flood waters are still deadly. This is occurring. There is more rainfall. The probability is higher of flood, and we need to address that uh, probability and the challenge that it offers. Indisputably, the impact of floods is becoming much more lethal. And that is man's fault, too. Major storms and, and therefore in, in flooding. But dislocated 223 million people. Hurricane Mitch caused 11,000 deaths in Honduras, caused not by wind, but water. The biggest floods, and the dead and the deadliest, hit the world's most crowded countries. In 1996, the Yangtze overflowed, as it often has for centuries. But over 1,500 died. The flood inundated dozens of cities and eight huge provinces in central and southern China. Because of its unpredictable nature, the Yellow River has set a tragic record. It's responsible for the most devastating floods in history. In 1887, 900,000 people were killed when the river jumped its banks. That's about the entire population of Montana. But 40 years later, in 1931, the river raged again, and the results were even more catastrophic. In the worst flood of all time, the Yellow River killed 3.7 million people, approximately the population of the state of Kentucky. 80 million were left homeless. In 1997, Poland suffered one of the worst floods in recorded history. 2,000 square miles of the country were underwater. The floods also extended into Austria, Germany, Slovakia, and the Czech Republic. Eighty helicopters and 45,000 troops helped with the rescue effort. Authorities called it a 1,000-year flood. Across the face of our raging planet, floods cause devastation, terror, and death. In Bangladesh, the monsoon rains of 1988 took over 2,000 lives and left three quarters of the country submerged. But even in a normal year, floods cover one-fifth of Bangladesh. Here, people have learned to live with floods. For the residents of Mahaha, their once luxurious condos are now a mangled wreck. Tenants are stunned by the destructive force unleashed by a rainstorm. Boulders crash through lobby doors, chasing residents out of the building. Rescue crews launch a search for survivors among the dozens of cars buried outside. The mudslide's immense force has wrapped some of the cars around trees and split their frames in half. After, after hours of searching, the rescuers conclude that no one is trapped in the wreckage. Um, really, the, the most cost-effective thing we can do is to simply avoid putting structures in harm's way. But as long as people build where slippery slopes meet torrential rain, they will face the weather's monumental power.